We are talking to Mr. Daniel Turk, President of Republic of Slovenia. Thank you, Mr. Turk, for taking this time. We are honored that you agree to talk with us. As our friend in European network of independent living, and also familiar with you as are we, let us just say that you are well respected, royal, focusing on human rights, and have worked for quite some time in the United Nations. Mr. President, Slovenia has ratified the United Nations Convention of the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. What shall we start to implement the Convention? What do you suggest? Well, I would like to say that the Convention doesn't start from, from scratch. Uh, we in Slovenia have developed a series of activities which help the disabled people. And also I would like to emphasize the process which led to the conclusion of this Convention has been very long. It has been 20 years of discussion and negotiation, and now we are at a stage when the implementation is put in the center. As far as Slovenia is concerned, I think we have to adopt new legislation which will give uh, meaning to, to the principles of the Convention. I think we have to think more clearly on matters such as personal assistance. Uh, we have to uh, resolve issues related to assistance to organizations of disabled people. And finally, we have to improve the system of consultation, the system of participation of organizations of disabled people in decision making. So whenever there is an implementation legislation discussed, this should be discussed in full cooperation of disabled people. Thank you. How do you understand terms independent living and personal assistance? It's a good question. Well, personal assistance is um, is something that helps a disabled person to live an individual life to the full. Um, I think every person, including every disabled person, is entitled to freedom. Now, for disabled people, freedom is much more limited, and personal assistance has to be tailored, has to be organized in a manner that allows the highest level of freedom. Of course, this thing doesn't come without a cost, and there has to be an arrangement, uh, there has to be a legislative framework and financial mechanisms have to be established that would allow this to happen. And of course this has to happen in uh, relation to the existing forms of assistance to disabled people, uh, which of course are sometimes a little too paternalistic. I think that the more freedom they bring, the better. Now that we have a tool, of co a convention, of course, how you and you will support its implementation? I will uh, have um, every year, not only one, but several occasions when I can speak about the convention publicly. My general approach to these issues is that uh, a visible person in politics, such as President of the Republic, has to be seen in company of the disabled people has to be also uh, seen as uh, active on issues of disabled people as often as possible. Now, I, said I can certainly make a few very visible appearances per year. I can come to meetings with disabled people. I can take position on matters of implementation of the convention and so forth. So there are quite a few things that president can do I will also be in touch with our government, with the responsible ministers, Minister of Health, Ministers of Social Affairs, and I believe that we shall be able to develop a good cooperation of the government as well. When can we expect the, the Office of President to be accessible for the users of WeChat? Yes, well, I hope this will <laughs> this will happen next year. We we have uh, we are in an old building built uh, more than 100 years ago, and I was surprised that these uh, uh, arrangements were not made as yet. Uh, this uh, has now been studied, and there is, there is documentation compiled. Uh, in our country, we have a fairly complicated process of permits 
for any reconstruction of a historical building. Uh, and that, that process is more or less over, so I guess that in the course of next year we'll be able to do it, unless, again, some complication happens, but I hope it won't. Thank you, Mr. President, again, and uh, we hope to meet you soon, maybe at the celebration when the personal assistant expresses. Thank you. Well, I hope that we'll, we'll make progress with the implementation legislation. We have a new government now and I will work with the ministers to put issues related to disabled people on the priority list and we hope to make progress. Thank you.